It's been a little while since I've been at this. I had to take off uh, towards the end of November, beginning of December because of some back issues and haven't been able to start turning anything. This was uh, on the lathe when I had to stop. It's a piece of mesquite. And what we're doing is I kind of started on it a little bit, flattening the bottom out. Gonna put a uh, recess in it and then we're gonna turn the top and then we'll do something. I got some ideas for this since the bark has gone off of it, but I'm gonna leave this as natural as possible, but I think I'm gonna do something with it. I've got an idea, but I have to test it first. So we'll just have to let that uh, come about as it does. Anyway, uh, first time it's now Towards the end of March, in fact, it's the 30th of March when I'm starting this. I don't know when the video will make it out, but it'll probably be a little bit, but hopefully not too long. As you can see, there's some problems with this, but uh, we'll work it out. And uh, hopefully y'all will come around for the ride. Let me get geared up and we'll take off. All right, so what I did was I finished the bottom out, as you saw, sanded it up to 400. I took this wire brush and used it, uh, went along with the grain and cleaned all of the bark, the remaining bark and the little strands and everything that were off with it. And it's got kind of a rough finish to it. 
because uh, you've got the grain, the smaller grain obviously is, or the, the softer grain has left marks. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a uh, sander I've got that's got uh, pretty much something like this, but it's got uh, sandpaper on it. And I'm gonna do the same thing over again to smooth this down, but leave the, the grain Rise, the, the, raised, the grain that's raised up in places, I'm gonna use that and then just leave that textured and then I'll sand the inside to 400, uh, just like I did the bottom. And that should give me what I wanna look, what I'm looking for on this piece. Uh, keep some of the roughness with, well, it's still tactile and smooth. So I'm gonna get to doing the sanding and we'll bring you back when I get ready to put some finish on it. All right, inside, sanded to 400. This, I used a wheel. Uh, this thing here, it's 120 grit, and I used it and went with the grain. So I've still got the grain rised, but it's nice and smooth. And I will, as typically always, got most of this out blowing it out and then hit it with a little denatured alcohol. Uh, I'm gonna use Howard's Feeds and Wax, Feed and Wax on this, and see what we're gonna have when we're done. It's mesquite, so it's obviously gonna be pretty. Let's sit up, buff it out, do a second coat, and I'll bring you back when I take off. I gotta do is take it off the lathe and put my little emblem in the bottom of it, and we'll be good to go. So I'll bring you back and get ready to do that. All right, put the little emblem in here. Finish this up. I have yet to buff the bottom yet, but I wanted to go ahead and put the emblem in and I'll finish this up with the Howard's Feed and Wax and I'll show you some more of it. I think it turned out great. I like the texture that this has. I will probably do this much more often because I just, it's, it's a good texture. It's the real grain, but it has a good feel to it without being overly rough. So um, I will post some photos at the end. As always, I appreciate y'all coming by and watching. If you haven't, please like and subscribe to the channel. And oops, <coughs> maybe I'll cut that out. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and I will uh, look forward to all your comments. I appreciate it very much. Thank you.